It's pretty windy and I don't have enough room in my car to carry tent weights around, so I just use my laundry bag and scavenge for boulders <laughs> and I'm bungeed it to the inside of the sign there to keep it from blowing over. There's my laundry bag. Feels pretty sturdy. I got a lot of rocks in there. open but today's the first day and kids don't get out of school until one o'clock on Thursday um, so anyways I'll show you my beat. I'll show you all my new sign I don't think I've shown that yet it had a makeover my grandma's loaded up on paints and spray paint so it's pink to red ombre and then I painted the signs with some blue and yellow and they're all laminated, thanks to Grandma. Grandma has everything. <laughs> um, price, I've got a few different price options. And just all the symbols. My business logo, a dot, a name, and then a little snippet, just to fill up the space. My sign, I did make a really cool thing that attached to the top, but it acted too much as a sail. Um, so I took it off. Maybe I'll try again some other time. And then the other two sides are the same. There's the reversible design board, so once people get all the way to the front of the line, they can still see the options, or if they're sitting in the chair, they can turn around. Some of the little kids forget what they want, and the parents can point at which one they're wanting. And then it's the same on this side, except I have this cute picture up. And then I found this on Amazon. It's just four by two foot. Really lightweight um, banner. And it's tied to my umbrella with my rope. And just so y'all know, I know tons of face painters use these uh, folding director's chairs. This is a big garden flag, like a big flag you put on the outside of a house, and it fits it perfect. I just have it safety pinned. I've had a safety pin there for years, and I've had no issues. Oh, and my new glitter fun jar. So I still have a, a really cool bag um, hooked to the bottom, um, but I took an old peanut butter jar from my grandma's house and cut it up and burned it so it curled these cool edges, put some hot glue on it and spray painted it and glittered the inside. <laughs> I did a lot to it. And then I have this little um, sign holder that was part of something else that I found, but um, I cut little notches out, so. Yeah, um, they can drop the money in there because I made it too simple before. People didn't know that that was my tip jar when I just had the cut out, so. That works better. I think that's all that's new besides this here, I switched this sign around and the prices, I changed this a little bit and I can change the price on it and I have extra prices um, laminated inside of this pocket. It's a pocket and it's the same on both sides. And I now have my time front and center because everyone's looking at, looking at me anyways to see what I'm done with the next person when it's their turn. So I just stuck these guys up here and have it clipped here for the wind. And that's it. And I have a little table so people can set their stuff down or I could set my apple on it. Okay, so first day, it's 1.30, it opened at 12, 
it's pretty slow um, okay it's really slow I painted one face I glittered one face and it's really slow there's adults walking around not crazy busy but most most grown-ups and stuff walk by and they just say oh you want a face painting oh. and then they keep walking you know <laughs> they don't really want it uh, they want their friends to get it but they don't want to get it and then the friends don't want to get it anyways I went back to camp get my hula hoop so I can just stand there and wiggle around and do my hula hoop I can't do any tricks on it I can't do anything cool but I can I can hula hoop just regular forever I could win the never-ending hula hooping contest, maybe. <laughs> Anyways, back to the booth. Maple, what do you think? morning it's day two of the have super balloon festival friday so it should be busier um i'm walking to my booth i'm a little late but i'm also a little bit early because technically they opened the vendor booths at 6 a.m but i know i'm not gonna have any faces at six o'clock in the morning so it's almost 10 right now i figure that's early enough 10 11 we'll see and if it's jam-packed up here i'll come earlier tomorrow when we get out of the road there's cars coming um yesterday i painted a total of 12 faces but i met some really cool people i met someone who has a boondocking property up in montana and i really want to go to montana and montana's on my route so they gave me all their contact information um and the same couple came back later and gave me the rest of their pizza. So I had a really delicious pizza lunch. And um, all the families were super nice. All the families gave me great feedback. All the kids were amazing as usual. When I was in college, I was at a girls' dorm, and I used to do the hula hoop fully clothed, and I would gradually take everything off until I only had my underwear on. <laughs> That's amazing!